What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I'm going to be putting together a 124 scale 8 foot flatbed for a future model building project. And there's two ways that you could build a flatbed for a model truck. Well I guess you could put it on anything, but more likely you're going to put it on the back of a truck. Take the bed off and uh, you know put a flatbed on there. Now there's two ways that you can do it. It's, there's a simple way, which basically here I have illustrated in this first photo. Just get yourself some popsicle sticks, craft sticks, balsa wood, basswood, whatever you want to have it. And uh, you want to have your whatever your width and then your length already set out. Cut them all down, get them all squared up, glue them all together, and then you just put some cross members under here. You know, you can have something as a bumper like I got right there, or you can just leave it as is. And then you'll have to measure out and check the heights and everything of the frame of the truck you're using, especially if it's a, a pickup truck because they usually have... Uh, you know, C sections in the frame to clear the rear axle. If you're dealing with a uh, semi truck kind of chassis, most of the time they're flat, so you can basically just pretty much uh, set it up just like that. And then obviously you'll need to build up, you know, more supports to get it all level on the truck and get it to the right height to clear the wheels. And uh, so that's a simple version, but I'm going to go a little, a little bit further than that. I want to build a headache rack as well. Not sure if I'll get that done in this video, but. Uh, we will be building the complete assembly and painting everything, and I'll talk to you about that later. So basically, here's my plan. Similar to this simple one here, I'm going to have the, the wood planks just going down, but I'm going to have a uh, outside area here of wood that will be, you know, up against it. Now I've got so all basically. kinds of wood here. Uh, I should have pretty much everything that I'm going to need. i got some real thin strips here for the outside piece that will probably work. And uh, I got a bunch of other uh, stuff back there as well as some popsicle sticks and everything. But I find popsicle sticks to be a little too big for a 124 scale or 125th scale pickup truck body. I mean, it'd almost be better like something like this, you know, to get yourself pretty close to what like a 2x4 would be. I believe that's what they use for them. Um, See, so I'll probably end up using these. And I'm using for adhesive the tight bond wood glue. I don't know if you guys can even see it. Ah, here we go. This stuff seems to work pretty good. I've tried Elmer's glue. I've tried the uh, tacky glue if I actually have it here. Yeah. See, I've tried this too, but this honestly doesn't hold together nearly like what this does. You know, you got your frame here, obviously, and that's all I need was the width and the uh, length, so I technically don't even need those pieces anymore. And I just need to get enough of these good ones here and get them together because you want them to be flat. I mean obviously with some of the glue you can kinda you can kinda fix some of that but if they are warped at all you might as well just get the good ones and use the warped ones for another project. I do plan on building a old weathered barn or a uh, you know something similar to that here in the future so I'll definitely use the weathered and bent up pieces on that on the outside. So as you can see here, you know, we got a rough estimate of what we're going to have if I can get these to sit down right. But I've still got a, a, I think this one here is not flat. So we're looking at, what are we looking at here? Obviously when you, you get all these clamped together the best that you possibly can, you have to take in account the, uh, the difference in gaps that you're going to have. So I had a problem before where they wouldn't, uh, the glue wasn't holding them back when I was using the tacky glue. And, uh, oh, see, this is just not working good enough. So we're at, uh, a little over three and a half. So we might take one of them out. That puts us at, uh, slightly over three and a quarter. So that'd be almost perfect. So now the basic frame is complete. The only thing I need to do is add two more crossbars in here for extra support and rigidity around the frame. Okay. Probably work a little better having something underneath it. Huh? 
All right, so there's our two extra support pieces that we need, obviously longer than what they need to be. So what I'm going to do now is just do my old tape it together method. And then I'll trim them all up, sand them down, and be good to go. All right, I have my other two cross members I needed to cut here. They're ready to go, and they've been all given the Sharpie treatment. It actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, hopefully, if you guys can see it in the video, I'll do a close-up and probably do a slideshow when I'm done with it. But it's actually turned out pretty nice. And my whole goal here is to have all the stuff glued in and not see any of the glue. So I've been really sparingly with it. That's why I want to add these extra cross members in here. Actually, let's fit them in right now. I've got a few of the the main deck boards here that I've just stuck in here just to keep this clearance to where it needs to be. And then what I'll do is, you know, make sure these are back so they don't get any glue on them. And then I'll glue those in because yeah, it's looking like it's fitting pretty good and straight there. So yeah, we're good on that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, flip this back over, set it all back up. And then I'm going to glue these in as a complete deck. And then I'm going to decide whether I'm, you know, what color I'm going to stain them. I'm thinking about just leaving them as is, maybe getting some kind of clear coat that I could put over it because I kind of like the way it looks. But uh, we'll see what happens. I can always make another one, I guess, if I don't really like it. And here's the finished results. I got all the planks glued up. They are actually currently still drying, but they came out nice. I haven't really decided yet how. I'm going to stain the deck of this. The colors I have I feel are a little too dark. I'd like to go with something lighter. I'm not exactly sure what would work for it. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Because I'm just going to leave this video at this because it's basically complete. I can take the deck in and out once it's all completely dry. I don't want it to you know, fall apart or anything. But like I said, it did fit. It did come together really nicely. There's a few little gaps here and there. But I think it adds some character to it. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, appreciate everybody watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please rate the video, and I will talk to you all real soon.